Welcome back to our Bluesy Water channel. I'd like to do a follow-up video on cranial electrotherapy stimulation. I've been working with this for a while and I have a few observations based on my own experience. I would recommend, depending, well, let me start at the beginning here. First of all, one thing to critically assess is how long has your brain chemistry been compromised? So I'm 63 and I would venture to say, looking at it from a more spiritual point of view, things were compromised early on, but didn't manifest till later. So you have to do an assessment essentially of where you think you're at as a child, you know, look at the different developmental stages of your life. But basically, if you feel like your brain chemistry has been compromised for a long time, and you can go by, you know, how long have I had these symptoms? If you have a medical diagnosis, you could ask yourself, have I suffered from depression for so long, anxiety, insomnia, whatever the diagnosis is. There's an enormous amount of uh, brain state diagnoses, including also possible disease states, like let's say you de have dementia or you have uh, ADHD spectrum. So you just have to ask yourself, how long have I had these general symptoms? If the answer is, you know, more than five, 10 years, then we can consider this fairly chronic and long term. And it's important to understand that when starting this therapy, you might get some pretty strong, what's called Herxheimer or healing crisis events. So what you want to do is at that point, have some supportive measures. Now this is going to depend on you know, your skill set and what you've been doing all along to try to, to, you know, remedy this problem, if anything. But it's important that if you have been doing whatever protocol you've been doing and it's been helping somewhat, stay with it. Don't just drop off. And, you know, until you get through the hump with this therapy a month or two down the line, three months, whatever, you know, don't go down on what you've been doing previously if it's been helping somewhat. We're going to recommend, I'm going to recommend if you're going the holistic route, some key supplements that I think are helpful for brain chemistry. Number one, for dopamine, you would do l we'll, we'll show this in the captions below, or tyrosine. For serotonin, you could look at 5-HTP or tryptophan. For cortisol, reducing cortisol, the other two we're trying to increase. For reducing cortisol, which is a stress hormone, you look at something called GABA. You would also look at overall adrenal tonification. We'll, we will show some links to our uh, horm hormone video, endocrine gland system video. If you're uh, also, you want to make sure overall you're looking at your endocrine gland system, adrenals, thyroid. If you're, uh, for instance, your testosterone is down, you're going to have all kinds of symptoms. So, Adrenal, the adrenal thyroid, the overall endocrine gland system, very important. So we have videos on that. We'll post those. Our Maximize Your Bluesy Water Therapy Series, critical. It's foundational for all cellular health, detoxification, and cellular balance and cellular repair. So make sure you're doing that program, which is four easy steps and very affordable. And those videos will explain how and why that program works. But in a nutshell, it will detoxify your cells, help to feed the cells critical trace minerals, superhydrate the cells, essentially create a rekindling of the, of the healing of your cells. So you want to get all those individual cells healed to work on all the systems. Remember, brain chemistry is part of an overall body chemistry system. And the endocrine gland system... It's controlled by the pituitary, which is in, up in, right in the center of the complex that this therapy targets. It targets the, the thalamus, the hippocampus, pituitary, the thyroid. It's a whole control center up there you're working at. So let's address all the different component parts. Animal glandulars, we have some videos on that, how helpful they are. So there are glandulars for the brain, for the pituitary, for the the hypothalamus, et cetera, et cetera. So the endocrine gland system is intricately related to brain chemistry. It is the chemical brain that the pituitary controls. The pituitary is like the chemical 
brain or the hormonal brain. And the hypothalamus is the nervous system, so circuit board brain. So very intricate stuff and you can work at all these different systems using some simple supplementation. So we'll post a bunch of links and take a look at the videos that talk about these systems that are part of the integration. Make sure to do good soul work. We have video, all these videos on cleaning the subconscious, the memories, traumatic memories that cause the system to go out, in, out of balance in the first place. So we'll post links below to doing the vibration therapy and our vibration therapy series explaining why this practice is so simple and easy to do and so critical to getting at very deep traumatic hell memories in the body. This might seem overwhelming, but the practices themselves are very simple. Once you start doing these different pieces, which are not hard to do, you will feel a lot better, and then you can kind of start to put together the philosophical map, so to speak, of why and what you're doing. Start to frame to yourself, and we have these videos to help you, to give you guidelines, and give you a map. But bottom line is, if you're starting this therapy, you need to do supportive practices. So do your memory cleaning practices, do your body, overall body chemistry, supplementation, balancing practices, and then there's some other tools we have recommended, such as the Qi machine, movement therapy, somatic practices. So we have a lot of videos giving you the sort of overview of all the other systems and how they play into the body chemistry of the brain is affected by all these other component parts. So remember, it's been a long time and you're working with this therapy, give it a chance. Think of it as part of an integrated toolkit. And if it's short term, if something just kicked in recently, you know, you don't have a history of, let's say, depression or insomnia, you're getting a short bout of it, you can still do some of these additional supplements and uh, but probably the cranial electrotherapy will work quicker standalone. Also, some other quick sleep tools. We have a video on all our sleep tools, so we'll post links to that. If you're using this therapy to help with insomnia, then there are many other sleep tools that we recommend, and we'll, we'll show that link once again. I actually had a sort of a paradoxical effect uh, initially, which means I actually, in a way, got worse with the insomnia, but having done many therapies before, sometimes I know that's a good sign of healing. The symptoms will even get stronger initially before they subside. It's kind of like a pimple coming to the head before it bursts. So the whole holistic teachings is things coming up and out. And if you look at nature cure philosophy, typically you heal in, in what's called the acute state, meaning healing crisis. So things have to emerge in a sense, go into a bit of a crisis, and then they disappear. This is considered positive, but you do not want to get so far deep into a crisis that you can't survive the crisis or it's just too overwhelming. So it's important to consult with a skilled practitioner. If you want to go holistic, please find a, a naturopath or someone who's skilled in this area. They can always contact me for all these support tools. I'd be happy to give them suggestions. Also, if you're going the traditional route and you're on medication, please don't go off your medication without consulting your physician. If you start off on this therapy, make sure you have a guidance of a physician who supports this therapy and can integrate it with the medication you're on. Hopefully, in time, you'll be able to go down on your medication and you can always start to look at other options if you choose to do so. So thank you. And remember, this is a great therapy, but the key here is the longer you've had the problem, the more support tools you want in play and you don't want to down your support tools Right away, you want to, you know, give this therapy a chance to kick in and then evaluate how much you can back off of whatever else you've been doing. So we'll post all these links. And if you have any questions, contact me, Andrew, at bluesywater.com. Thank you.